morning guys and welcome to another day of jazzy green decor style today i am excited because there is a tag going on so this is called the valentine's day tag 2020 yes and i've seen this tag being done by diva decorating i saw her do it and i thought oh yes i have got to jump in so you know that's what i'm gonna do so I'm in my tag room, as you guys know, I always like to do my tags, at least most of them, in this room. This is the most peaceful, quiet, and calm room. So anyway, there are approximately, well, there's 12 questions. Yeah, 12 questions. It's really 11, but you'll see at the end what I mean by 12. So technically there's 12 questions and um, I'm gonna get started after I sip on my coffee because I gotta have my coffee to go with the theme, right? Got the pink hearts behind me and my pink blouse, so. Down to the last drop. Mm, that's what I'm gonna do, drink it all the way down. Okay, well, let's go ahead and get started with this tag. Let's see if I can read it without my glasses, nope. First question, Valentine's Day, over height or a fun day to spend with the love? Um, I don't think it's overly hype. I think it's a fun day um, because if, that's, if that was the case, if it was considered over hype, then every other like holiday, every other um, thing that we celebrate would be over hype my opinion so no Valentine's Day is not overly hyped it is a fun day a day of love to celebrate love with your loved one whoever they may be okay okay number two what was your favorite Valentine's Day memory ah I would say in 19, no, not 19, 2012 or 2011, I had created the most romantic day for me and my husband to spend Valentine's Day. Um, I cooked a nice romantic dinner or lunch, and I think I had the table all decorated. I had, um, I think we had some champagne, yes, yeah, so that we could toast. I had some red petals and I had sprinkled the petals all on the floor downstairs. This is when we had our other house. We had a two-story house before. And I had sprinkled rose petals all over the floor leading up to the bedroom. So all, you know, by the stairs, all up and down the stairs, and it led him on into our bedroom. And I had a nice outfit on. Um, I had some lingerie on, and it was just very romantic very nice and very special and he told me he said wow you really know how to do it so that was one of my favorite um memories number three conversation hearts or chocolate covered strawberries um chocolate covered strawberries now i like them sam doesn't like covered chocolate strawberries but you know what the way I decided that I'm gonna get him to eat a chocolate cup of strawberry, I would have to give him a bite of the strawberry first, have him chew that up, swallow it, get a little water to wash that down, and then give him a bite of a chocolate candy. And then that's gonna be my version of giving him a chocolate covered strawberry. I thought of that and I said, yeah, I'm gonna answer that. I'm gonna say that with this question. So, okay, number four. Choose a celebrity to be your Valentine. Well, the fact that I'm married, um, I'm not single, so when I read this question, I said, well, I can't choose anybody. I mean, I can't choose a man. I'm already married to a man, and I'm definitely not gonna choose a lady. But if I had to choose, uh, you know, I thought about Kobe Bryant's uh, baby daughter that was just born last year. I would choose her because she is so precious. I mean, I would love to just give her a nice little hug and a 
a piece of candy and you know just take a little cute picture with her so I would choose his daughter uh, I don't know what her name is I forgot they said what her name was oh man anyway I can't think of it but if I had to choose someone I would choose her she is so adorable as all of them are okay question number five who are you celebrating Valentine's Day with this year? With my man, of course, my husband. I always celebrate Valentine's Day with him. Always my husband. Okay. Number six. What is your Valentine's Day dinner plan? Well, I don't have a plan right now. I don't know if Sam has a plan. Um, I, I'll see how it goes because Aaron's birthday is um, this week. Well, this week that I'm filming it, you guys will see it next week. So by the time you see this video, I'm pretty sure his birthday would have already passed. His birthday is February the 3rd. So um, I don't know yet because we are making plans for his birthday um and i'm pretty sure we're gonna do something for that so um i don't know yet and then my birthday is the 26th of february so it's a lot going on in february with valentine's day somebody's horn was honk honking but anyway, there's a lot going on for Valentine's Day, so I don't know what we're going to do. Um, we may go out to lunch. We may have a um, romantic dinner here. I may decide to fix something here. Maybe an appetizer. Um, I'm just not sure yet. Okay, number seven, red or pink? Well, I like both colors. Both colors are my favorite. I love red. Red would have to be first, and then pink would be second. So I'm going to choose both of them. Love me some pink and love me some red. Okay, number eight, flowers or candy? Well, I'm going to say flowers because I don't eat candy anymore, and I definitely don't need it. <laughs> but if I was eating it, I would probably have to say both. But since I'm not eating candy anymore, I'm going to choose flowers because I love roses. I love all types of flowers, the different colors. It doesn't have to be red, like I tell my husband. It doesn't have to be red. It doesn't always have to be pink. You can mix them up, you know, get very creative, you know, in your selection and how you um, put it together or have the florist put it together. So, nine, sushi or pizza? Well, I'll choose pizza. I've never um, tasted sushi and never will, ever, ever, ever. Um, I love pizza, even though I don't eat it, but I love it. So pizza wins. Number 10, beer or wine? Well, I've tasted both. I like both, but uh, for Valentine's Day, I would choose wine, especially a nice, delicious Moscata. Oh. That is so good, nice and sweet, it's just good. Okay, number 11, we're almost done, you guys. Describe your perfect Valentine date night. Ah, well I practically already did. Okay, I'm gonna make it a little bit different. For us to go on a romantic getaway, have a limousine pick us up at the house, I'm in my nice, beautiful, whatever I'm wearing, and he's in his nice, handsome outfit that he's wearing. Um, I don't know where we would go. Somewhere romantic um, to stay maybe a week or a few days. Um, when we get to the hotel, there's uh, rose petals all over the bed. There's a gift for me. There's roses for me. And, of course, I would have something for him already in my packed bag. Um, let's see, romantic dinner when we go out, go dancing, have a lot of fun. I mean, this is like, it seems like a fairy tale, but it's not really a fairy tale. I mean, these 
this is, I've never done this before, so that's why I'm thinking about what would I really like to do, and this would be perfect for me, you know. Uh, go dancing, uh, just spend time, quality time with one another. Do some fun activities. Uh, and the last and final question, tag a friend. Well, I wasn't gonna tag anybody, but I guess I will. You know, I guess I will, why not? Ladies, if you wanna do it, fine. If you don't, no sweat, don't feel pressure. I understand if you don't get around to it. No harsh feelings. First person I'm going to tag would be, um, I'm gonna tag Diva Designing on a Dime with Kimberly Davis. I'm gonna tag Kenya's Decor Corner. I'm going to tag, um, I can't think of her channel name because it's a, kind of a long name, but if you're watching Edwina, you know I'm talking about you, Edwina. Uh, that's all. Uh, that's all I can think of. I don't want to tag too many ladies. So anyway, guys, I hope that you have enjoyed watching this tag. This was a lot of fun. I love Valentine's Day, so I had to jump in on this when I saw Diva decorating doing this I was like yes I got to do it and she knew that I would do it but anyway if you're new to my channel welcome my name is Liz and I'm so glad to have you on this channel you will see home decor videos you will see hauls I do shop with me's I do tag videos I love to do tag videos so feel free anyone to tag me in a video um, I do um, sometimes I do DIYs and DIYs is very very minimal very very minimal you won't hardly see maybe one or two maybe if that but that's pretty much what I do on this channel among some other little things that I may throw in here and there and if you guys are not follow me on Instagram and Pinterest please do at jazzy green decor style so thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you all later. See you in my next video. You guys have a blessed day. Bye.